We want to make sure that um, the digital technologies curriculum is really authentically placed in our school. In the sustainable project, um, the learners got to choose a digital outcome. So they could choose a video, they could choose making a game, and there was a lot of student um, agency and choice. Um, they got to choose one, um, one of the sustainability goals that they wanted to focus on and then learn about how they could teach others about that goal through creating a digital outcome. Um, and then they had to provide an artefact, so it was a one page with some sort of link or scan to a QR code so that people could come and interact and learn about their digital outcome that they had created. Tonight we have um, an event which we've called Activate and the idea is to um, uh, from learners from our Kahui Arco schools to be able to come and activate their innovative mindset, to be able to come and showcase their learning. Um, and with that, we want to provide the people from our community that come um, a real positive digital technologies experience um, and help them to understand the computational thinking and the design and develop digital outcomes. Working with our whānau and our communities, but also bringing our, all our kura together um, is a really important goal for us here at the college. It's a robotic arm on a cart, so the cart moves and the robotic arm moves. For Christmas I was given a kit which used wee syringes and moved an arm. And my plan was to sort of swap that out with wee actuators and then that project sort of expanded and then I thought well if I'm adding electronics might make it bigger, might make it our metal and it sort of grew over the course of sort of two years. But when I came here, I didn't really know anything about electronics as such. I knew like, real basics. So for programming, I didn't really know anything. So I learned how to use CAD. So uh, Inventor, Autodesk. Uh, I learned how to use laser cutters as well as the 3D printers really well. Um, I learned welding as well. Uh, I quite enjoy that now as well. Really most of my skills have come from this, just building, and then I, I require to be able to weld, so I have to go learn that. And yeah, it's good that the school has everything here to do that with. At Rolston College, I have quite a few teachers working beside me. I uh, email them, update uh, them on my project, and uh, they all sort of specialise in certain parts and they help me out when I have problems. And yeah, they've definitely been part of my journey through this whole thing. They've seen it from start to finish, from when it was a really small idea to when it really grew. But the school did help me um, get in contact with some uh, electrical engineers who have uh, helped me quite a bit through this. Uh, so we've sort of been emailing and if I come across a problem, they will send me links or help me out with it. My journey has, has taken me on a lead where I sort of need to learn those skills to get past like that learning block and get get over it and keep making a robotic arm and yeah. Industry is important for a couple of reasons. We want to form positive connections for our learners. We have internship days here um, beginning at year 10 um, and we want our learners to be able to go and experience a possible career path um, that might be of interest to them. So we're always trying to make those connections um, and establish those positive networks um, with our industry and in our local area but also further afield um, into Christchurch as well. We have um, a series of critical skills here that we like to focus on, um, things like creativity, uh, resilience, um, problem solving, teamwork, um, and a lot of the projects that we work on, we um, try, we encourage failing. We want our learners to see failing as a positive experience that they can then learn from and continue to iterate their outcomes and continue to get feedback and testing until they work towards an outcome um, that might be suitable for end users. So we like to talk about our end users a lot and helping them to design specifically uh, for their end user, regardless of what um, lesson or area of the school they might be working in, always trying to keep that as a focus um, as the student being the designer. I honestly want to make something that's more, um, more coding based. So I want to try and make something um, like a camera on a cart, which can sort of have sensors and is aware of its surroundings doesn't bump into things and yeah. I want to study mechatronic engineering at university and I feel a lot of the things I've, I've learned here will contribute to sort of being hopefully a little bit ahead 